So all of you out there know that I like to work hard, but play even harder, which is why I'm going to be checking out a Minecraft world, which I haven't done in a very long time, but I was on the Microsoft store and I saw, wow, there's all cool stuff now, especially compared to when I was on here last time. And one of the things that I saw was the luxury life skin pack as well as the world that comes with it uh, it's by pixel heads and I'm gonna be checking it out that way if you want to check it out for yourself you totally can these are the skins that come with it and I don't have my bricks O'Brien outfit but I do have all these really cool outfits like the burglar which is totally how I would secure my luxury uh, businesswoman the rich gentleman which is not the monopoly man at all uh, the business preppy boy uh, I would say the one that represents me the most would either be the businessman or the rich gentleman. I'll go for the rich gentleman here, not Mr. Monopoly Man, not Mr. Monopoly Man, okay? My name is Brian Saviano, a.k.a. Bricks O'Brien. I'm going to go into it. Um, I don't know. No, I don't want to do that. I'm going to keep the creator settings. And just go into it and play it exactly the way that the creator's uh, pixel heads, uh, pixel head has in mind, and see what this is all about. I got it for I believe like five bucks on the Microsoft Store, so the Minecraft Store you can totally do that. And there's definitely well, it's a it's a it's a Rottweiler, Rottweiler with a gold chain. So we're really setting the precedent here. Ooh, there's a pool table. That's pretty cool. So I can't actually alter anything right now, but I'm going to go and read exactly what they want me to read over here, which is to uh, enter the portal to start your life of luxury. You can't return once you've left. You can learn about the furniture, learn about the cars. Okay, cool. So this is the airplane, which is flyable. That's cool. I didn't know things were flyable. We have a sports car, a muscle car that kind of disappears as soon as you go a little bit off screen there. I don't know why that is, but okay. Um, there's tutorials for, uh, all this stuff. Um, there's 10 vehicles that are, uh, land and water and air based, which is cool. So nice. I, I get, uh, the sense of what we're looking at here. There's bikes too. Oh, well, there's so much luxury going on around here. All right. So we're just going to jump into the actual life of luxury itself and see what exactly, uh, we need to do here. There's a switch tool. Oh, Okay, I don't know what the switch tool does, but this is our mansion. So this is the mansion I'm going to have once I get once I get all the royalties from all the ad money <laughs> that all these internet. Can I drive you today? Okay, relax. Um, that uh, that all these people uh, uh talk about all that revenue money. Um, can I drive the? Is, is that a Ferrari F40? That is definitely a Lego set. Ooh. Ooh, the sound of that engine. I'm going to lower the... Uh, oh, man. I feel like that's incredibly loud. I'm going to lower that. There we go. So hopefully that's a little bit better. I feel that's super loud. All right. So I'm going to start with the Ferrari F40 here. Okay. So I am in the car. And I'm just driving around here. Excellent. So the thing with Minecraft is I think it's trying to emulate... Like, this is basically a skin for uh, something else, like a different vehicle, because the helicopters are moving on their own. Or it looked like they were. Are they in general? Uh, it looks like they aren't anymore. They were definitely for a minute there. So I think this is supposed to be like... I don't know if it's supposed to be a horse that's reskinned or whatever. Uh, how do I get out of here? I gotta jump out. Okay, so that's how you jump out of a Ferrari. Duly noted for when I make all my millions. Okay, so that's the entire garage over here. All sorts of uh, vehicles and whatnot. And I believe you can use these in your own survival. Uh, oh, it's a bodyguard. Okay, gotcha. It, the area is indeed secure. Uh, ooh, we have a sports bike in here. Cooked salmon. I'll need to eat some stuff eventually because that's what the fame will do to you. You get hungry. Rel okay, great. Awesome. Uh, you know, the hunger will get to you eventually, even if you are famous, just like me. So uh, you can use these in your own creative world. I don't know what the recipes to make this stuff would be for, but they are really cool. And I can tell a lot of effort went into this uh, little world right here. And I believe it's only this specific area that's been decked out and customized. So you could just take a helicopter away from here and, uh, you know, go to a totally new section of this world and pretend this doesn't exist 
don't take any resources from it except for the helicopters and whatnot. But there you go. There's air traffic control bodyguards. Hope you're doing a okay. I hope you're doing a lovely job here, gentlemen. Doing good. Di Diamonde's here. Uh, there's money here, which money is probably just reskinned. Um, uh, the green that oh the jewel no what's it called? Not quartz. That's what that's quartz right there. Oh, I forget the name of it. Oh, it's been so long. It's been so long since I played Minecraft. But the green gems for trading. One of those. Emeralds. Yeah, obviously. Emerald. Duh. So, I wonder... How... That is not the sound that a... Okay. Let's hire this up a little more. Uh, that is not the sound of, uh, a helicopter makes. So, how do I actually use this? Oh, there's a stick shift in here and everything. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, well... Oops. <laughs> Where'd the helicopter go? Well, there's a yacht. The helicopter is gone. And I need to respawn. Yeah, hold on. Alright, it was easier to just drown instead of climbing my way all the way back up. So, how do I use this helicopter? I just... How do I... Okay, so jumping out is not the plan. Using shift to get out is not the plan either. So, is it Q, Z, no. It's resist... I have resistance that is infinite, which is weird. Okay. Um... Do I click up to go up? No. Okay. Oh, wait. Can I just point up and down? Oh, you just point. Oh, that's cool. So, you really can just fly all the way around everywhere. That's pretty cool. So, if we look up, we can see an overall view of our island here. And that's like another mansion over there. That's pretty cool. Right? Is it connected? I can't really see very well, but that... Oh, jeez, that's fine. Yeah, it looks like an entirely different mansion over there. So, we have quite a lot to explore for this area here. It's more than I uh, had bargained for in the very beginning, so that's good. Um, oh, jeez, I nearly crash-landed this helicopter. All right, let me get out of here. Land safely. There we go. So I will take my Hummer back that is totally environmentally friendly in every way, shape, and form. Definitely 100%. You know, definitely does not use a ton of gas for everything it literally does. Oh, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? You're a good boy? You're a good boy. Okay, so a dimly lit mansion is a good mansion indeed. There's some outfits for the uh, swag dinners we're going to have with the homies. Nice uh, LCD, uh, rather LED TV. I think that's a 65 incher over there. I'd say so. It's similar to what I have right in my office over here. Not that I'm living the life of luxury, but I got it for my friend. I probably in in this game probably just paid full price for it because I'm a baller just like that. Here's my computer. It's like playthroughception. I'm on the computer with the keyboard and the mouse. It's like it's so it's so involved. Oh yeah. All right. So, there are bodyguards everywhere saying, Area Secure, every five seconds. But, you know, that's fine. This is the uh, El Baño. So, that's where I get to look at myself in the mirror with all the fat stacks of cash I got. It's where I uh, wash the sink of all the sins I've done while I've been spending all my money. And uh, leave that right in the bathroom. All right. So, over here is the dining room. And I heard a disc jockey scratching some discs, which I don't know what, where exactly, but okay. Here's uh, clearly a, a nice dinner setup. Chairs? What a... That is a f furniture box. Um... Oh, okay. I don't know what item that's supposed to be normally, but if I hit it a couple times... It gets smaller until it becomes a box. So, you got me lost. What? You got me lost here. Anyways, so we explored over there, over there. Yep, let's just explore everything on the bottom floor before we go upstairs. This looks to be the, um, uh, the baller's room, right? We got a nice piano here. Does it make noise? Oh, we can... <laughs> <laughs> we can move with the piano. Okay. You know what? That. Sure. Okay. You know what? 
That's fine. That you know what? We're gonna you know I'm gonna move the piano. I'm gonna have it be right up against uh this wall right here. I think it looks much better on this wall compared to the window. From the window to the wall. No creeper will hurt you. You get it? Hey, hey, to the window to the wall. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Here's out of the bathroom to wash my sins as a rich man, okay? Go over here. Here's uh uh a closet? I don't know, whatever. Uh, here's a, a baller sound system, clearly from the year 2000, because no sound system in 2019 looks like that. That's for that's for sure. And uh, let's just check. Oh, he's another good boy. Uh, we'll check out this room over here. It's a hallway. Okay, we have one hall. This is the storage room. Got the got the fresh funky beats over here, and then we have what else? A a like a washroom, laundry room sort of deal. That's fine. You know, every mansion needs a laundry room. Not that I would do my own laundry at this point of my wealth. I would have someone else do it for me. Because I'm a straight-up baller. This is a kitchen. And a very nice patio on the outside. Ooh. Some uh, some nice uh, uh, limestone right over here. Looking pretty sleek. Cooking up something on the bobby over here. I can ride the barbecue. Ladies and gentlemen, everything you've ever wanted in life has come true. You can literally ride the barbecue and maneuver it to be wherever you want to. And you know what? I think it looks good right about here. That barbecue looks great right there. It's going to stay right there. It looks pretty swag to me, bro. Yeah, bro. Anyways, let's uh, explore around here. You can go loop all the way around if you want to. And we haven't even checked out the second floor yet. Haven't even checked out floor numero dos of my big baller mansion here we go the newly acquired mansion for only five bucks on the store here's another bathroom for my sins let's go over here and this is a game Ooh, that's cool i can't ride it but that's cool oh it's just like a fake thing i can just walk i can walk on top of it kind of that's pretty cool though i like that as an item you can have all different designs that looks that's got the bricks o'brien colors blue and yellow so it's the official bricks o'brien arcade cabinet and I can't tell what item it's supposed to be, but, oh, you can kind of see the outline of it, of it breaking right there. So I'm not going to break it, though, because it's pretty cool. And there's some more uh, clearly child-friendly beverages right there. That's some uh, Kool-Aid and Capri Sun in those glasses over there. We have uh, lots of money, earrings, a diamond sword. Uh, I'm going to take some fat stacks of cash, have that on me right here, because as I have said before, I'm a baller. Got to get that gold chain. Got that gold chain on. Hold on. Can we equip it? Oh, yes, we can. Oh, yes, we can. Who's the baller now, baby? Look at that. Mr. Monopoly with the gold chain on him. Oh, yeah. All right. It's like every hip-hop video has come to life in Minecraft form, and I love it. All right. Can I alter the pool table? No, I can't destroy it, but I'm not going to. Oh, here's a, here's a disc jockey chilling out. Oh, I can ride the DJ booth. And there's a small child in my house that is not my child oh geez it's it's loud okay uh, relax relax okay where did this child come from <laughs> why is she phasing through the pool table hey uh where's your mom and where's your dad i don't think i'm your dad i hope not but anyways let's just let's just move on let's just move on that child can stay right there i don't know who comes in this house oh it's the bricks o'brien room uh, here's the um, the green bed for uh, it's made out of money. The comforter is made out of money. That's my trophy that I gave to myself for being awesome. Another bathroom for my sins. And then we have uh, coat hangers here probably. All right, what else we got? A red bedroom. And then another bathroom for the guest who has their sins. And uh, another trophy of awesomeness. Now, what item is this? It's technically, what is this? It's Oh, it's an item. It's, well, obviously it's an item, <laughs> but it's like, it's the actual item. Okay, it's not like something in disguise. That's pretty cool. Um, that might be the thing now, too. Like, there might actually be, because I didn't, I didn't think you could have a custom item. I thought everything was just a retexture of something else. So, here's a green bedroom here. Um, got a nice uh, baller outfit here. Bathroom as well. Uh, I thought 
it was only reskins of everything, but I guess you can have custom items. So, yeah, just all the guest bedrooms in here, obviously, for when the guests come over to hang out by the pool, which I'm assuming there is a pool. If there's not, I'm going to return this house, uh, put it on the market for $7 billion and inflate the price on it and not have actually anyone move in just to raise the property value of the other places nearby because that's literally exactly what's happening in the Boston area, which means I can't move out of my uh, mother's house, but I'm not salty. Anyways, we have down here uh, a location to uh, ferment uh, uh, child-friendly beverages. Uh, this is where they ferment all the Fanta. Uh, these are massive uh, barrels of Fanta. If they start with orange Fanta, and it becomes purple Fanta eventually. This is a, a secret room for uh, the cash and emeralds. And oh, here's the fat stacks right there. Ooh, there's mobs. Cool. Can I read it? And there's sofa. Ooh, so sofas are white, white. So okay, so everything is a reskin. Okay, so you can see what everything is over here gotcha okay so i am right so piano replaces the husk sit on to change rotation and drivable okay so that's basically uh the cheat code book for everything that you know this is what everything is so that's pretty cool that they at least do have that book in there to give you a, a frame of reference and they haven't changed up the nether star at all um ingots are still the same and then emeralds okay so emeralds and money are different okay i thought they might have been the same thing but um Cool. We're going to let the Fanta ferment. Ooh, lots of chest, uh, lots of uh, food in the coolers there. There's definitely not a secret room in here. Well, we, we already found it, man. That's the Fast Marina Access. Ooh, looks like this is a little tram station I got in my mansion that doesn't actually kind of work. Awesome. Well, I can just accelerate forward now and uh, take it from there. There we go. And that's... Not incredibly fast, but fast enough. I can eat my money. I can eat my money and use it to restore my hunger. So if you ever get hungry in real life, instead of going to Taco Bell and spending money, you can just literally eat your money and cur cure your hunger. Go figure. So here's the marina. Ooh, it's like an in... This is a lot more in-depth than I thought it would be. Wow. Okay, this might be a, a multi-part excursion. Now that uh, now that I'm doing this, but uh, anyways, we have boats here that are clearly drivable looking boats, and then boats that are just yachts to explore. So we'll go inside of here. Everything's secure. Everything's secure. Wonderful. Uh, and the bikes seem to go faster, if not the same. Oh no, they definitely go faster. I was gonna say they go um a lot faster than the cars. It might be the same speed. Let me see. Oh no, it's the same speed. Um, yeah, it's definitely the same speed. I'm just going to leave that park there because it's my mansion. I do what I want when I want to. Okay. That's how it goes. Um, does this lead back up to the other mansion? There's like multiple mansions everywhere, dude. Like, I want to see like a map of this place overall too. Well, that's not, okay. That's a totally different section. Do I have a map here? That's a switch tool. I don't know. I still don't know what this does. Or does it switch between what it is and what it was? That'd be cool. But anyways, at least I can uh, just eat some more of my money if I wanted to. Just <laughs> just eat money. That's fine. Hey, man. That's all good by me. That's fine. Who needs Taco Bell when you can just eat literal dollar bills? Anyways. All right. So here we have these. I'm assuming it's just rowboats retextured, and I'm falling into the water. And there we go. So, yes, they don't go incredibly fast, but there they go. So, yeah. Uh, we'll check out some of these smaller yachts over here, which uh, I explored a mod years ago myself where I could actually, like, equip a... I don't know what the name of the mo mod is at, at all, but, like... What is happening around here, dude? Okay. Okay. Never mind, he's he's super dead. Okay, so clearly the uh, the sound files there didn't uh, register properly, but you know, that's fine too. Can I go up on this boat, please? Can I go up on the yacht? Is it my yacht? It better be. Might as well be, right? All right, here we go. Come on. Come on. Let me up. Let me... Mm. Is it going to let me up? 
What if I stop running? Is that the secret? Yeah, that's the secret. Okay, I can't go... Wait. That doesn't do anything. Okay. I thought that might trigger something, but it totally didn't. Okay. Uh, there looks like nothing we can do in there anyways. So, well, here's a cool thing. Here are benches in Minecraft that I was pretty sure should be a thing anyways. Are these a thing? I can't place them. Oh, I can't... Oh, they're beds. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was going to say, benches I feel like should have been a thing in Minecraft like years ago. And if they actually added it, that would be pretty cool. But not quite yet. So we'll check out uh, this mansion over here. And there's another mansion? Wow. There's a lot of stuff going on. Obviously, these are uh, uh, bars here. Dropping them hot bars. Just like in a hip-hop video. It's like basically like a hip-hop superstar's dream around here, right? And, oh! The whole thing broke. Okay. I guess that's uh, supposed to happen, I would I would assume. Uh, and if anything, if I get lost anywhere through here, you can always wait. Can I go in the back? Nope, I have to drive it myself. So, uh, I could just respawn back where I was before and um, just explore from that point on if I get lost. So, uh, we'll explore some more of these mansions. Ooh, there's a TV in here. There's all sorts of cool stuff. Definitely uh, child-friendly beverages. That right there is some Baja Blast Mountain Dew. That's some Baja Blast, I promise you. Eat some money before we go into the mansion. It's customary. You know, you don't want to... Oh, that's just... It's incredibly loud. But you know what? Anyways, that's fine. So you don't want to insult our guests by having a uh, uh, empty stomach walking in here. Can I not enter? Oh, I can. Over here. Gotcha. This reminds me a lot of... Uh, ooh, there's an aquarium. That's actually what I want to do in my actual Minecraft playthrough, is have something like that. Like a, a whole big aquarium thing. This is actually really cool. Like, there's a lot more, a lot more going on here for five bucks. And there's totally a ton. Ooh, there's a little, f uh, I mean, you can farm in here, but also like a, like a little koi pond sort of deal. Uh, you could totally use this as your own uh, creative world or survival world if you really wanted to. And before I felt like with the previous Minecraft uh, worlds and, and things like that that you can explore, there wasn't a lot happening for what you paid for. But here you can clearly see there's like a ton for the money you're spending here. So that that's super cool. And it, it really equips you for something, you know, if you want to do a whole big playthrough and you want all these resources without having to actually go for it. What is that? A, a frame? Yeah, it's a frame. Um, oh, cool. It's New York. Um, you know, you can totally just go into here, gather a bunch of stuff, and even just use this entire thing as your, um, as your house if you really wanted to, which is cool. It's got basically everything you could ever need. So, uh, let me take a look around here, just to see. There's more, uh, that, that right there is some, uh, a &W root beer. I, uh, I'm not a, a Bargs guy. Is it Bargs? Bargs? I don't know. I can't read the whatever font that is that they use for that soda i'm assuming it's barks barks like dog barks i don't know but I, I'm, I'm an a and w kind of guy myself a and w um vanilla uh no va not vanilla root beer cream soda cream soda is incredibly bad for you but wow is it good wowie zowie is it good all right so i guess just hitting that there will allow you to go inside so Lots of people in their mansions over here, chilling. And I love the architecture in here, too. There's a ton of different uh, styles that really make it seem super luxurious. And uh, the thing is, e even if you have, like, a bunch of people living in these houses here, like, there's still so much room, and, like, it's not being properly utilized. But, I mean, that's kind of... What a mansion is like anyways, right? You have all this room. Well, that's a very ineffective deck right here. Um, you have all this room for stuff, but you don't actually do anything with it. You're just walking around, and you're like, Wow, this mansion's so big, but I have no one to be here with. The struggles of being rich. Or at least I assume being rich. But that's always the, the, the whole sad thing. People are like, Yeah, I have all this money, but I'm alone. And then you feel really sad. But it's like, dude, you got money. You're fine. Listen, you're fine. Yeah, who who cares about your happiness when you have a ton of money, right, guys? Come on. Who needs happiness when you have all the Lego 
and video games you could ever want in your life. Am I right or am I right? Anyways, that is totally not the case. You want happiness over money because money can't buy happiness, kids. It definitely does not. I, I don't know whether it actually does or doesn't. I assume it doesn't because that's what I keep hearing. A massive outside deck here. Kind of looks like a, a restaurant sort of a deal. Uh, nice little pool. A couple cabanas here. Copacabana. Chilling around here. Yeah, it definitely looks like a little mini resort right here. But uh, maybe it is. Maybe it's a, a small lucrative business for the mansion holder. You know, it's a it's a big overblown Airbnb pretty much. Uh, it, it, to it totally could be. I mean... I've seen crazier stuff. No, I haven't, actually. I mean, if you rented out an, a mansion for an Airbnb, that'd be pretty baller. But uh, that'd probably be a lot of money per day, too. That'd probably be, like, three grand per per night or something crazy like that. No, three grand per night, that'd actually be a lot. Well, if you split it between, like, five or six people, like, that's basically a hotel in Boston per night, like 300 per night. It's pretty... uh pretty on point so we're already inside of there and there's even more over here dude what there's a whole like town over here okay so yeah this is definitely going to be like a, a multi-part ordeal here this is a car dealership dealership deluxe open 24 7 we can just take all these cars if we wanted to dealerships deluxe sales hey take some of this you want some of this take some of this i buy everything thank you and goodbye. Excellent. So, there goes that. That's definitely enough for every si employees only. Well, here I am. Um, it's definitely enough for um, everything else. Still don't know what that does, but whatever. So the vehicles are short bikes. Sport bikes replace rabbits. Maximum of two players. Okay, so you can edit the like aspects of each of the things, but not the items themselves. So like, obviously you can't ride a rabbit like you would a bike but there you go you can have two players on there uh max two player for the llama but llamas can fly so clearly you can change some stuff golf carts replace zombies all train vehicles replace a zombie villager so cool airplanes replaces evokers so lots of uh little changes there not little they're actually massive changes but oh there's a plane can i hop in that plane that'd be pretty cool Oh, oh, there we go. And I can't actually move the plane because it's stuck in the air. So you know what? I'm just going to walk away and pretend like I did nothing wrong. This is a best dress ink dress for success. You're going to like the way you look. You're going to love the way you look. I guarantee it. That's the, uh, the men's warehouse commercials for sure. Lots of earrings over here. And I'm assuming an upstairs. Oh, okay. So I guess swap money for the switch tool if I wanted to what is upstairs is there a ton of money up here because it's a, a a clothes shopping place that probably has a nice big old safe oh it's the upstairs okay so these probably regenerate yes they do so if I take these off of the shelf oh we can make them hold money that's cool so if you take them off the shelves you probably have it uh, respawn right there or that's just uh more in case you and a, a lot of your buddies want to take a bunch of those uh, styles there. You totally can, which is pretty cool. So my outfit being Mr. Monopoly Man is not as uh, unique as I thought because there's 5,000 other outfits in that same store. Here's Furniture Inc. So basically, this is a means of showcasing everything that the uh, pack has to offer. So you can see uh, all the standard uh, standard stuff here. And then, uh, obviously, all the little, you know, the bench and the DJ stand and all that is all everywhere. This is the Dance Beats Records. And this guy's feeling the groove here. He's totally feeling it. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Never mind. He's not feeling it anymore. So, the once rare D CDs are now uh, readily available right off the walls here. You can pop them right off if you want to and take that. That is the music disc. And you can pop those right inside of what here yes you can it's playing c418's weight which obviously he does all the uh music for all the minecraft games all the minecraft games oh i mean there's only one minecraft right now other than story mode but uh yeah so here's all the bathroom furniture so 
You know, that is actually a thing. Uh, so I've heard when you are super wealthy, it's like you have all these especially uh, wealthy versions of all your favorite uh, places to go, like the uh, the bathroom renovation center where the, uh, the people only deal with rich people all the time. Like, that's it. And nobody goes to the library when you're rich. You just Google it, right? Do not enter. Uh-oh. What's in here? A library with a secret under there. And obviously, if it says do not enter, you know what that means, right? They clearly want you to enter, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna take a, a little hike right down here and see what's up. Ooh. And I obviously activated some pressure plates here. Ooh. Lots of secretive stuff down here. Which I don't know what the pressure plates necessarily activate, but uh probably this Ooh, there's a tripwire right there. What does that do? Oh jeez, zombies. There's zombies everywhere. Oh no. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. And there's burglars too. Oh no. Excuse me. I'm going to leave and lock y'all right in there. Uh see you later. That's not going to happen. And I have full hunger, so I can just leave here and I'm good. Oh, what I should have done was taken that um <laughs> that diamond sword, but I didn't. Like an idiot, so my bad. Uh, let's go up here for more high-end electronics. Only the one Bricks O'Brien colored um, arcade, which is totally fine. I'm not going to complain about that. What I am going to complain about is all the time, like with certain things, like that disc jockey stand right there, the you know the turntables. Uh, and there's just so many buildings. Oh, that's a cool, um, a cool thing. That's awesome. That type of sofa. Um, they always make noise. So if you wanted to build them in an actual, like, Minecraft world that you wanted, uh, it gets super annoying having the like that all the time. It's like, really? Come on, you don't need to have that noise happening all the time. Like, once or twice, I get, obviously. But not, uh, not all the time. So here's a Pixel Heads Hotel. Motel. No, it's definitely a hotel. Motels are like the, the underclass, like, Ugh, you don't want to stay in there. You don't want to stay in a motel. They're usually kind of, ugh. But these are definitely hotels around here. Rooms are all similar, so we won't go in all of them. I want to definitely leave some stuff for uh, you to explore for yourself, but uh, I do want to give you a rough idea of everything there is here. So um, I honestly don't know. Now that I'm like exploring an area like this, I don't know who this type of thing is for. Are we already over here? Um, like, when you have a map like this, is it for multiple players? Is it for one person? Like, what is the main object- Larry's Lamp Shop, okay. What is the main function of a place like this, you know? Is it to loot everything? Is it to start your own world out of what you see here? Like, I don't really understand. And I've never done something like that. I just wanted to, I bought this on a whim and I'm like, hey, this looks pretty cool. Why don't I I'll make a couple of videos out of this and show you what exactly is uh, uh, going on here. Come on. There we go. Oh, and we're out the top of the limo. That's pretty cool. Like we're actual ballers chilling out on the top of the limo. That's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, so I've never done that. And I don't know if you're supposed to play with multiple people or whatever. So we came from that way. Um... If you could pop this on a server, maybe. I don't I don't know if you can do that, but that would be pretty cool. So I guess we'll just uh, go up this way here. And um, can I access this? There we go. Okay. So now we look to be at a... Nope, that's not what I want to do. Um, we're... Nope. Okay, cool. Still getting <laughs> reacquainted with the controls. So this looks to be a new area, new mansion here. Uh, right on the coast, which is definitely where I would have my mansion. Being greeted by two good boys right here. What's going on, good boy? How are you? Such a good boy. Can you follow me around? Maybe? No? Yeah, they are. Oh, such good boys. Aww. Aww. Here's a room dedicated specifically to the fireplace, if you wanted that. More bodyguards everywhere. This is where, uh, the high council meets up, and they're like, Gentlemen, we're gonna go and move the... Pianos to the safe? I don't know. See, it's hard to 
talk about the the life of luxury that these guys and girls lead while being why is there ice while being family friendly because it's like oh, a lot of this stuff isn't family friendly uh what could the ice represent i don't know i have no idea actually but I'm tired of eating money. I'm going to eat actual cooked beef here. Uh, and that restores hunger, obviously, a lot more. And so does cake. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what the ice is supposed to represent. But, okay. Uh, there must be a second floor. Yes, there obviously is. I was going to say where where the staircase is to the second floor. And now we're starting to see a lot of the same elements repeated in different ways. Which is going to happen with a, a texture pack adventure world type thing. You see the same assets just used in different variations, which is fine. This is probably one of the better bathrooms I've seen. This is the uh, the standing shower, which is fine by me. Me personally, I never take any baths because I, I got it stuck in my head that you're basically soaking in a, uh, a bath tub of your own filth. And I'm like, you know what? I agree. That's not ideal. Not not like nasty, but like it's not, not ideal. So we're going to go up high and just kind of look at and see where exactly we are compared to where we've been so d we went into this mansion down here we've explored over here uh we haven't explored the yacht yet and i believe there is another mansion uh we started i believe over here so there's another mansion on the far side east side or did we already explore that technically was it back over here i don't know um if i land back over here i should be able to see and then most of the boats in general we can't go inside of. So not really uh, much we can do there otherwise. So yep, we landed right over here. We're back at the start. So let me just go back over here. Or No, this isn't where the boat is. So did we explore everywhere? No. Other than the boat. It j it's so weird that the, the helicopters move. Like, it must be... Let me see. Vehicles. Uh, the helicopter is a llama. So it must be a thing where it's programmed to be a llama. And then it, um, like it's programmed to stop moving. But it moves for a half second when it loads onto the screen. So that, I guess, makes sense. So yeah, we went to that mansion over there. That's the one that I saw was across the way. So we don't need to explore that again. Um, where's the yacht? Ooh, there's the yacht. Ooh. All nice and fancy. Okay, I'm going to bail out of the helicopter. Uh, jump. Okay. That wasn't actually as epic as I thought it would be, but okay. So, can we get to the lower deck? Yes, of course we can. Of course there's a helicopter pad. It's a it's a yacht. Would you expect anything less? I certainly hope not. So, I'm going to start from the very bottom here. I'm basically starting as if it were uh, GTA 5. I play with my friends. You invade onto the yacht. You go this way. So... Here's a pool within a yacht. It's not a um, a cruise liner, not like a Disney cruise, but and it's obviously got the the DJ setup over here. But uh, a pool within a yacht is mighty interesting. This um, I don't know what you would call that. This looks like a sauna in here, right? If I had to guess, those are the two sauna or, or the massage beds. Oh man, I need a massage. So badly. So badly. That would be feel amazing right now. More of those uh, shrinking chair. Oh, can we move? No, we can't move. Cool. But all right. That's fine. Uh, these chairs don't... Sh do they shrink? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. They shrink? Yes, they do. Okay, cool. But you can't sit in them. So that's fine. I really like that dark blue color. That's pretty sweet. Um, I guess these doors are just open for the sake of being open. No TV in here? Nothing really? Wow. Oh, you got a deck. It goes back over this way. Oh, there's a tiki bar. So you can get all of your servings of uh, Crystal Pepsi right over here. No problem what, whatsoever. You know, sit up right on, on top of here. There we go. Hey, uh, nobody, can I get a thing of Crystal Pepsi and a little bit of uh, uh, Cherry Coke? Anyways, that's totally what they serve. 100%. Uh, that is the cold storage. Lots of snow and I guess... I guess... <laughs> Pumpkins count as cold storage. Go figure, right? That's what I would... Uh, you don't have any pumpkins in your... In, in your freezer? Are you telling me? You don't store pumpkin... What kind of... 
insane person doesn't store pumpkins in their freezer. Come on now. Come on. Really? So, um, as we go to the top of the deck here, we have, uh, I can only assume our books, but I don't know what, maybe this is supposed to be a cabinet to store definitely not adult beverages. I'm not sure. Here's a kitchen that doesn't have any chefs in it, which is fine. Um, go around to the other deck there. Man, there's so much going on here. Some nice uh, bamboo accents for when you're having your extremely privileged dinner of steak and lobster. Of course, you would expect nothing less, I hope. Um, here we have here. Ooh, the game room. This is where I would be most of the time. Chilling on these couches over here with the homies and the sound system from the early 2000s. And uh, just more places to eat, which is uh, pretty accurate from what I've been told. Of when you actually go on a cruise liner, uh, you just eat and drink all the time. That is literally all you do, which, hey, you know, sounds like a decent time to me. I can't complain about that one. i got more rooms up here. We can go up to the very top deck here, probably take the helicopter out of here. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much this entire pack here. I thought it was going to be a lot longer, so this will be its, an, its own uh, showcase here. So as we uh, bail out of the helicopter, watch it almost flying to infinity. Uh, there's obviously more aspects of the map I haven't explored yet. Uh, you can use this entirely for yourself if you want to. Um, I like it. I think it's worth five bucks for sure. Uh, especially if you make an entire map out of this and you take full advantage of it. Oh, there's a whole beach down here. That's pretty cool. So we'll take a look at the beach uh, from afar just to uh, have a look-see. But, um, yeah, otherwise, this island is it, it is what it, Oh, it's a golf course. Ooh, that's cool. There's the beach down there. That's super cool. So uh, you can use it for yourself if you want to, or you can just keep it as it is. But either way, it's entirely up to you. Uh, did we actually explore? Yeah, we did go to that mansion. No, we didn't. No, did we? I don't know. I want to thank you guys and girls for listening, watching, and tuning in. Again, this is the Luxury Life Pack by uh, Pixel Heads. So I hope uh, you enjoyed the video. You have a fantastic day. Remember to meow it out as always and uh, live the life of luxury as close to it as you possibly can. Uh, I will talk to you next time for more Minecraft uh, map showcases in the very near future. So peace out. Bye.